Uh, hey guys, this is Atul from Team K Tonin Academy and in this I'm here to invite you for a free class on how to get a high paying job in Azure Cloud and DevOps. Even if you're a beginner with no experience or you don't have any coding background or not from a development background. I've gone through this journey myself and that's why I'm, I'm going to tell you about very quickly and briefly what you can expect in the in this uh, and who this is, who this free class is for. This is going to be interactive where I'll be, you'll be able to ask questions from me and what we are going to do is we'll begin with first of all why you must learn Azure Cloud and why now. This is a new class that I'm, I'm, I'm doing and I'm preparing for that and hopefully by the time you're watching this I should be ready and you should have some uh, invitations on that uh, the date and time should be there for you as well so we'll begin with why you must learn azure cloud and devops and why you must learn it now what are the big changes or the rules are um, mixing up and i'll show you in the in the slide deck as well on uh, how the rules are mixing and what companies are looking and expecting you to work on we'll also go and basics of Azure fundamentals in terms of if you're a beginner, if you're already working, you will recap on those points. So things like global infrastructure, we cover region, availability zone, fault domains, and update domain and how they impact your high availability and disaster recovery. We'll look at the core services, um, all the services like compute, storage, networking, I'll explain that in a minute, including the security related services, um, um, the DevOps, etc. as well, and then also the migration, backup and restore, and I'll give you the 12 week roadmap to go from a complete beginner to getting a high paid job, even if you are in interviews, the common question get is a, I don't have an experience, so how we can get hold of this experience as well. And uh, also, uh, if you stay till and uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to this URL k20academy.com forward slash Azure 02. And as I said, by the time you will see this recording be available to you, the uh, the page should or the, the date and time should already be there. So enter and select the date convenient to you. Uh, I think you'll be having one or two days and then enter your name, email address, phone number and save my seat. The phone number will help you to so that you get added into WhatsApp group and you get notifications, etc. as well. So let me go and deeper into that, say what we are going to look into this. Uh, as I said, let me minimize myself from here. Let me make you onto a here and just to go a little bit background. So this is the agenda, how to get a high paying job, even as a beginner with no experience or coding language. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cover, um, I do have a proven template and processes that help me to go from a like less than earning less than a hundred dollars a month back in 2000 in India to moving, transitioning and traveling and coming to UK, England back in 2004, then transitioning to 425 pounds a day rate to 900 pounds a day rate back in 2015, 16, 17 after learning DevOps cloud and then going for 1200 pounds a day and as well. So I'll be sharing these three steps and these steps have not just worked for me, but everyone across the globe uh, with different backgrounds, different cloud uh, or someone who with on different cloud jobs as well as across the globe for someone like Tolu with no IT background or Meghna with a gap here in UK or Kamla with becoming an architect on cloud and like that lots and lots of success stories that you will see and hear on what background they came came so that the process three step process is going to be simple step. What you're going to learn as I said earlier um, then complete proven roadmap and how you can use that roadmap for yourself, uh, right? Even if you said you don't have any experience, of course, because when you start, you don't, no one have that experience in cloud or you're not from a coding or programming background. I, I was not from a coding background as well. I'll also give you some tips, the common mistake, but tips on how to write your CV, prepare your CV, as well as we're going to keep it high level because of the time, but we have a lot to cover. That's why, but tips on how to write a CV so that you get an interview calls and how to prepare for the interviews so that you clear the interview as well. Um, or like if you've said any of those, like I'm not from IT background, how or I don't know if I will be able to do it. I don't feel comfortable. I'm too old or I don't know where to start. All those things we're going to cover as well. So we'll begin with first, I'll give you the agenda. We'll begin with first why you must learn cloud um, and in what order the exact path I've used and then seven common mistakes we'll be covering as well. And for those who don't know, very briefly, I have more than two decades of IT experience. These are some of the 
customer, customers have worked and helped. Uh, and I'm, I'm doing this almost now more than, as I said, DevOps from since 2013, 12-13, DevOps cloud. And, and then I've transitioned and done on multi-cloud as well. So what we're going to cover, as I said, we'll begin with this, why to learn cloud DevOps. We'll go a little bit background of DevOps and cloud and why the cloud growth, the job opportunities are available, and then what are the salaries you can expect if you are new in this cloud journey, whether it's the US, UK, India, Middle East, or if you're from a different country, just let me know about as well. Uh, how to find out the jobs specific to um, like entry level, beginner level as well. Another common question get is, hey, which cloud I should work on? Is it AWS, Azure, Google, Oracle? The common question, which one you should be picking or what I did, we'll be talking about that. Uh, briefly touch base with things are moving towards multi-cloud. That's what I did back in 2018-19 that basically helped me to earn um, like 1200 pounds a day and, and a lot more after that as well. So multi-cloud, um, we'll talk about briefly multi-cloud. I briefly hinted that, hey, jobs are transitioning. So we'll talk about that job transitioning. What are the multiple roles? Companies are these days look for someone who has multi-skills. We'll give you this exact learning path on a 12-week learning path, including the project work as well. We'll cover all of these 50 plus hands-on lab that you should be doing uh, in different, based on different, different uh, skill sets or different, different within Azure, uh, right from going from, for example, as I said, basics to the compute, to networking, to storage, load balancers, containers and Kubernetes, DevOps, Active Directory, Azure Active Directory integration, which is now ID, monitoring, logging, PowerShell, command line interface, API management, if you're coming from APIs or development background, including migrations as well. And then curated real-time projects so you can write in your CV as well. We'll also briefly touch base or we'll touch base about eight common mistakes, or I think these are seven mistakes, not eight. I might reduce one. I want to keep it to the point and these job transition transitioning as well. So we'll cover things. These are the things we're going to look at, as I said, at the start, uh, right from complete basics to region availability zone, zone and, but the most important is how they impact your RTO, RPO, so that they help you to understand how to build HNDR. We'll look at compute, different options, storage, uh, networking, how this entire networking, like your VNets, connectivity to the VPN, uh, gateways, express route, all those things, peering, VPN connectivity, express route, which is a dedicated pipe, and all those things, including load balancers. So it's going to be ton of ton of value, including Azure Firewall as well. We'll also look at security point of view coming from security background, Azure Active Directory, cybersecurity, that background, Azure Active Directory, which is now ID integration with on-premise cloud, uh, multi-factor authentication, conditional access, Defender, uh, and Microsoft private endpoints as well. Uh, also, DevOps and Terraform, quite popular. A lot of jobs around DevOps and Terraform. So what you should be doing end to end DevOps lifecycle. Again, as I said, we are going to, we have a lot to cover. We'll keep it 30,000 foot view. So block a chunk of time so that you get a ton of value out of this, as well as how DevOps is being implemented on Azure Cloud, Azure CI CD, API management, as I said earlier as well. And then most important cloud migrations, very, very important on cloud migrations, data migration, applications migration, VM migration. We'll keep it high level. What are the some migration services available for you uh, as well? Also, these real-time projects will go slightly briefly uh, on these so that you can put in your CV, how you can get hold of that uh, and put that in CV as well. And also as a bonus, some certifications, which one I did, what I think you should be doing and common mistake to avoid when going for the certifications as well and how you can get hold of these certifications as well. So we'll give you a three-step roadmap right from mastering Azure um, and with the help of hands-on lab and the project work, kind of a boot camp, and then preparing your CVs, uh, interview questions, LinkedIn optimization, and then of course the mock interviews as well so that you can get uh, results like hundreds of guys um, before you like Sam, uh, Neha, Yash, and by the way, I forgot to mention, if you stay till end, take action during the class, there's an action for gift take, or gift for action takers, sorry, on Kubernetes, Docker and Kubernetes implementation on Azure Cloud, uh, how that transition happened, we'll, we'll give a 30,000 view about containers and Kubernetes implementation on Azure, and you can get hold of this complete um, class, which is worth $997, Docker and Kubernetes for all the action takers as well. Um, uh, these are the, 
program which i'll be talking about docker and kubernetes and containers as, as well so if you're interested as i said go and register by going to this url khundinacadby.com forward slash azure 02 i've had an objective of doing under 10 minutes of spot on time if you have any questions put it or you have questions specific to me or related to this class put it under this uh, the the uh, under this session whether it's right for you what should be doing career advice anything that you have for me that you want me to cover put it and i'll reply make sure that i reply so wherever you're watching this make sure you leave that comment with that atul from team k academy url is k academycom forward slash azure 02 take care and i'll see you in the class please